Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Casa Agria. This is one of the highest rated breweries according to Unsat and they are in Oxnard, California. This is Sol y Miel or Sun and Honey in Spanish. So this is a Saison brewed with sunflower seeds, which is pretty interesting, and then bottle condition with local honey. So let's dig into it. Uh, I've seen great ratings. I'm really excited to try their beer for the first time. So let's see. Really exciting that we get it also in New York. Uh, let's see how this turned out. I actually didn't know it was distributed in New York, but uh, beer comes in a uh, medium gold, medium to deep gold color, a little bit of haze on there, yeah, a little bit of haze, nice, beautiful white uh, head, uh, eggshell white head, and then some of that carbonation just rising out uh, of the glass. Mmm, smells nice. Smells fruity, smells funky. On the nose, I get a big, fresh kind of, it, it smells like a funky, dirty apricot, if that makes any sense. It does have a really nice fruit character to it, but that is expressed from the cultures that are in the beer, not obviously an addition of fruit. But yeah, very fruity. And then you also get a little bit of stone fruit pit in there. And then there's just a little bit of like muskiness. There's a little bit of like dirty thing going on. Yeah, it, it smells a little bit like clay. It smells a little bit, yeah, it's earthy. It has a little bit of Belgian kind of dirty influence to it. Fruity as well. Yeah, it smells nice and complex. Yeah, it's funky <laughs> and fruity. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, the honey has a little bit of like uh, a lingering, just like touch of like flavor and a little bit of like extra bump of sweetness in the middle. Wow. So uh, for you Hill Farmstead fans out there, I'm using a Hill Farmstead glass right now. Uh, this is in the line with a lot of uh, Sean's beers. This is that kind of, if anything, it's not too far off from Anna. The Anna is Hill Farmstead's uh, Honey Saison and, or Farmstead Ale, whatever you want to call it. This is their take on that. And it's very similar. It's fruity, tart up front has a nice acidity you get a little bit of a kind of like a, 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 a tartness of like lime and then there's a, some of that belgian phenolic thing in there a little bit plasticky beautiful carbonation wonderfully dry but then a little that bump of like honeyed sweetness in the middle i'm curious where the sunflower seeds are uh, playing in flavor here a little bit of like this grainy malt character in the middle. Yeah, it, it's it's dry, it's a little tart, it's a little funky, it's a little fruity. As I'm smelling on the nose, that stone fruit, that kind of apricot thing. I'm getting that on the palate here too. Yeah, refreshing. There's a little hot bitterness in here as well. Yeah, there's a little white hopping here. I mean, this is just drinking beer. Uh, again, if you are a fan of the Hill Farmstead beers, this is right up that alley. Granted, at Hill Farmstead, those beers go for about $10. This was something like $23 or something like that. As for differences, uh, if you're more, more familiar with those beers, this beer is a little less sour than the uh, Hill Farmstead beers. It also is a little bit more dry. It snaps off a little faster. So and also might mean it's a little bit more hoppy and bitter. Uh, the culture is relatively similar. This one comes with a little bit more of a Belgian edge to it because as I'm waiting, I'm getting a little bit more of that kind of a Belgian ester and phenolic thing. So a little bit of that banana thing, a little bit of that kind of plasticky thing. Yeah. Yeah, a little less rounded, but quite snappy and dry. Almost a little bit fast uh, on the palate, but nice stuff. Uh, absolutely fantastic. This is the kind of beer that, you know, obviously I I'm enjoying to drink right, uh, right now these days. As for rating, mm, that's delicious. 95. 96, 96. This is Casa Agria, Soy Mail. Uh, again, Saisons, uh, this is a great example of it. I really like these mixed uh, culture uh, Saisons coming out, and this is just a world class example. Until next time, guys. Post in the comments below if you have anything to say about Casa Agria. Until next time, cheers. Later.